creating a project template generally means that first you create a project and then you make it into a template. Now there are two reasons why you might do this. One is that you're inventing an entirely new kind of project that just isn't on the file new project menus. Perhaps it's to work with a new technology or a technology that you're kind of shoehorning into Visual Studio. It's a little hard for me to invent a new technology and then show you how to make a project out of it. But there's another perfectly legitimate reason for it. The starting applications, here's a Windows Forms app, here's a WPF app, here's an ASP.NET app, here's a SharePoint app, and so on. There may be a number of steps that you always follow at the beginning of every one of those projects. If you make your own template for those project types with those steps already followed, you're going to save yourself that time and trouble. And that's what I'm going to show you here. I have a WPF application, and I've applied a theme to it. Now, if you don't know about WPF themes, you really should. It's a XAML file that lets you, really in one fell swoop, have all of your controls uh, colored and fonted and so forth in a way that's consistent with each other. For example, I have a theme going on here called the shiny red theme, and the controls are red and shiny and the text on them is white and that's consistent across buttons, labels, checkboxes, radio buttons, so forth and so on and they look good together. I got this theme along with a number of others from a CodePlex site put together by the WPF team and if you look for the WPF toolkit, WPF futures or WPF theme you should be able to find it. So this application, I just made an ordinary WPF application and I applied the theme and at the risk of beating the theme story a little too much, I'll tell you that the way I applied the theme was I, I copied the XAML file into the project, I edited app.xaml so that I had a resource dictionary pointing to that XAML file, and then I edited my background for my grid to use this dynamic uh, background brush, which is what produces this gradient look. And I'm going to run the application just so that you can see that it does work and that it is themed uh, using this WPF theme. So imagine I work in a company and we have a theme that's perfect for our company and we want all of our applications. We make all kinds of little utilities and bits and pieces and we always want to use this exact same theme every time. So I'd like to create a project template based on this themed project which is really just a starting point WPF app uh, with the theme applied. And I've got one control dragged on so I can see the theme is there. Turning this project into a project template, we go on the file menu export template. This time we'll choose project template, still only one project to choose from, and we'll give it a name. I don't like starting point themed, so I'll call it um, shiny red WPF app. Application with the shiny red theme applied to it. Now again, the icon image and preview image uh, should be here because it helps people to choose your template on the dialog. I really only have time to show that once, and I'm going to show it for our last example. I don't want to automatically import the template into Visual Studio, but I am happy to have an Explorer window brought up for me that lets me see my file. So I'm going to click Finish. Now these two files are from an earlier demo. This shiny with two eyes red WPF app is my newly exported template. Now if you saw the item template demo, you're probably wondering why there were less steps because we're doing the whole project. We don't need to say which items do you want, which references do you want. We're doing the whole project. And that's why it's a pretty straightforward process. So let's extract the zip file. And much as we saw with the item template, we have a .vs template file, and we have all of the files that were in the project repeated here. So I'm going to take a look at the VS template file and I just want to make a small change. You can see the description here, application with the shiny red theme applied to it and the default name and so on. But by default it's going to make a project file that matches my original name which was starting point themed and I don't like that. So I'm going to put this back to WPF application. It's going to build that WPF application.cs proj from my starting point themed.cs proj which is fine with me. And you can also see here that it's listing various other files that are going to be added into the output when it creates a project using the project template. So we'll save this template, close it, and refresh 
the template file back onto the zip. I find that sometimes when I'm working specifically with project templates that refreshing back onto the zip it doesn't work. That's fine. I'll just save this name. Delete this zip. Send all these guys to a new zip. Fix the name. Drag it back out. So now we've updated the zip with this VS template file that uses WPF application as the name for the new project rather than starting point themed. I've even left the typo of shiny with two eyes in place so that you know I'm really working with the live file. Where does this zip file go? Well, very much the same place that our item template went, except it's not an item template. It's a project template, and it's not Visual Basic. I switched over to C Sharp just to kind of be language agnostic. So I paste the zip file in here, and now we have another project template in our world. So I come into Visual Studio, New Project, switch to C Sharp. And here you see shiny red WPF application. So this is now available to us as a project to create um, a new application with. And let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'll call it WPF application. I must be up to four or five by now. And I'm going to open up the XAML. you can see that the theme has come over and I'm just going to grab another control checkbox will do drag it on rearrange it a little and then run the application this just proves that all our references are in place all our project settings are correct we still have a working WPF application that we can run and you can also see the nice uh, aspect of the theme the red and white of the checkbox matching with the red and white of the button with no further work on my part as a developer. So this project template has worked and I've been able to quote install it unquote by copying it uh, to this magic uh, folder here underneath my documents and that works for me.